Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I'll have to read that. Um, let's see. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. It's been there forever. Okay, yeah, it's up. It looks newer than it was like before. This? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Uh, cottonwood? Yeah. Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. <laughs> just put him back. Just slap him down. That's funny. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Hmm, so he's been taking off his wedding ring late, uh, recently. Let's just throw it on the ground. Alright, let's get started for today. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. That's good. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Well, that's good. I mean, better to have a fire that you can easily contain instead of consuming everything, right? Although, part of the reason that the fires happen is because so many people preserve national forests that need to have a natural burn cycle and haven't had one for thousands of years and actually are, you know, getting infested with beetle kill and all kinds of stuff like that because they need to burn naturally. It's part of the natural cycle, so it's kind of a catch-22. Anyways, where are we going? Alright, I'm here. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. This? It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Even 5687 would be so much more infinitely complex and harder to crack. But no. Uh, now what? Like, there's nothing in here. Oh, it's the new radio. Hey, there's a different walkie-talkie in here. God damn it, Henry. Oh, this is what you left me. Mm, yeah. And I was really hoping to keep it a secret. Take it and chuck the other one, then call me. Well, I don't know if I just I ruined... Know. Good. The story by I spent mentioning all day that or not. Getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Okay then. Tell me everything right now. All of it. You know what's going on, and you're gonna tell me right this minute. Fuck, how do I get out of here? Why would you think I know what the hell is going on? I, I, I snuck out in the middle of the night and figured out how to get you a new untapped radio because, because what, I'm fucking with you? The most important thing, Henry, is that we don't turn on each other. Maybe, maybe you're not real. Maybe I'm losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry, 
maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and and you delilah you're not real henry henry think about her if what happened to her were happening to you you wouldn't even be able to realize it okay Mm, that's not necessarily true. Sweetie, I am real, and this my grandpa had Alzheimer's. He realized real it. As the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. Well, can I call her back? Okay, I'm all right. I'm uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep Let's your see. head up. Uh, seriously? Oh, it's because I pressed N. I thought I pressed M. My bad. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um... I guess I'll just take that not great. route to Wapiti. There we go. I just have to make a big circle. Oh, well. Ah, uh, I hate having to put down the map to reply. That's so unnecessary. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... No, you're gonna lie! A few weeks back. You're gonna get caught lying. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Well, that's your fault for, like, lying. You're gonna get caught, like, literally committing perjury under oath, basically, if you get sent to court and shit. Or, like, that's what they'll determine, that you basically committed perjury by falsifying evidence. I mean, how dumb could you be, seriously? Where the heck are we going now? Okay. Whoa. What the hell was that noise? Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? <laughs> okay. Okay, here we are, back at the uh, Wapiti station. Do I have my axe? Oh yeah, I guess if I got that fire axe, I can break down the uh, gate right now. Let's see. Loose stone. Can I pick that up? Let's throw it back. Okay, that's weird. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Okay, that's not the way I would have done it, but all right. In a second. What I... Oh, okay. Just open that. Ow. Yeah, there's all a bee in there. That's funny. If you are trying to reach Doctor Simmons, he is on site from August fifteenth through October fifteenth. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Doctor Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Well, PD station personnel. Keep that. So, the government is definitely involved to a certain extent, uh, which would make sense. I mean, it's National Forest and shit. That basically is government um, controlled land to begin with. So, it doesn't surprise me that the government would be involved, at least to a certain extent. But who knows what's actually going on in the Wapiti station. Don't have anything to radio in, so I might as well just keep, you know, trying to find it and just heading on my way. Generator. Wait, what do I? Oh, monitoring tower. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah. Lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Phew. 
eavesdropping. Ooh. What is this equipment? This is interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what we find in here. What the? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy oh, shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Whoops. Wave receiver instructions. Locates any strong signal. Green light equals target straight ahead. Distance light equals strength of signal. Tone equals source of signal discovered. What else, though? There's got to be something else in here to check out. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I'm in their main tent. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Barometer. Weird. Different subjects. Their sexes, their social roles, beacon frequency, and what they do. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four that. distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What it's in the black box. Oh! Intriguing! Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't... Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Susceptibility and manipulation. About the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say creepy. about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Oh, fucking shit. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. We should plunder the supplies. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Oh, I'm so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. That is some creepy shit. I mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. I mean, how the hell did they get all this stuff out here? The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so... You think it was the government? I have no idea. I, I just mean it's possible. I mean... Every once in a while, I'll need a lookout who's deep into that, like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. Now they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to. I think she's in on it because of that conversation that we overheard her having with someone towards the beginning of the game. Because she was talking about us, like, saying, Oh, I don't think he has any idea, blah, blah, blah. And then on that report... There, it said that she was less susceptible to manipulation than I was, or whatever, than Henry was, so... Oh, God. 
Whoa. Damn. Oh shit. Whoa. Uh Henry? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Well, Jesus. This is starting to take some interesting turns here. I still think she's involved. It makes the most sense, honestly. Oh, what has he got pinned up? Oh, I see. It's got all of the notes and stuff like that on it. Okay. So he's starting to piece together everything. Okay, then. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You've got to find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! <laughs> hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm going to follow this wave receiver. It's got to be this way. I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. So it's got to be that direction. Specifically that direction, which would be west, but... I don't know if I can get around any of this stuff. Let's see. No, I can't climb that. Guess I can go this way. No, I guess i got to go that direction. Shit. So it's kind of like alien isolation. It's got to be close. Go through this bush. Aha! Shit! What? Ah! I think those are the cave keys. Yep. I knew it. I knew we'd get to go to the cave. Yes! I'm excited now for that. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452, is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Well, 
We better be able to catch him if he's in there, screwing around. I'm going. Come on. Oh, there we go. You have to, like, click in this specific spot to get stuff to work. Who's in my tower? Unless this is a trick and she's just trying to get me to be in here for some reason. Well, I don't see anyone, of course. Somehow they managed to get out more quickly than we got up here, which makes no sense. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. What do I do now? Do I go back in? Wait a second. Sorry, I'm confused. Oh. Huh. Of course. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Now what do I do? D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. <laughs> okay. I imagine I get to go into the cave now. to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Okay, then. Can I report the June fire? No. It's, uh, smoking the hell out of this area, because we've got, I guess, the two fires now. The other one would be... Oh, I don't even know. Who knows if they even put it out yet. It seems like we'd see two piles of smoke, but... Or two plumes of smoke, but okay. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I still think she's up to no good. I just have the sneaking suspicion that I can't shake off. Just based on that original call that we heard on the second day or whatever. Can I close that? Okay, no. Let's uh let's see. What's going on in this cave, huh? What the hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Sounds like they just shut me in. Or something happened with that gate. Let's see. Is it locked? Yep. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. I knew it. Is this thing working? Delilah! Send someone to the cave, please! Sounds like some, uh, reception. Yes. shit's about yes. to happen. Whoa. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Can we go down? Is there any other way to go, or do we have to squeeze through that? It looks like we do, so... 
Heck yeah, I'm stoked we finally get to uh, explore these caves. There's probably something intriguing down here. Let's go. It's freezing in here. I imagine it would be, actually. What's that? It's a sneaker. Is anybody down there? It's a, like a Nike sneaker or something is what it looks like. Strange. It would be a little bit creepy to find that, I gotta admit. I found weird stuff out in the woods before in Colorado and like... Sometimes it creeps you out because it's just bizarre. And you really do find like backpacks and all kinds of stuff like that, like you've been finding in this game, so... It's uh... It's cool to see a game that's actually kind of based on like, the environment that I live in. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Whoa. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Goodwin's family crest, huh? Pick up the dinosaur. Rawr! Rawr! Okay. Can I p take the banner with me? No, I don't want the dinosaur. Give me the banner. No. Can't take it. Just can't examine it. What about the books? Five degrees north... Another Richard Sturgeon book, huh? It's just like this legacy of the Neil Black character in the Richard Sturgeon books. I'm not sure if that's actually real books. Huh. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... Uh, I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, School folder. Sorry. I'm gonna keep that. Science homework? Ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. Avoid second person, it's too conversational for science. That's funny, they actually have like a actual report that was graded. Let's see, read. Oh, uh, okay, so the read feature is just me actually reading it like in a text format that's not on the actual item. So let me just keep this. Obviously need all this stuff. Hand-drawn schematic. For a pulley. So, is that why his backpack was right there? Oh, I can't, I can't report it. Okay. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Fucking Game Boy. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Oh, that's weird glitch. Can't examine that. Let's drop that. Let's see, what else is there in here? A note to a ranger. And keep that bundle of pitons for um, climbing, which is good. I actually have some equipment to explore the cave with now. Let's see. Brian Goodwin, Brian and Ned. Weird. Ham radio diagram. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. A postcard. 
I'm not gonna worry about reading that too much. Ah, uh, I hate that glitch. I don't know what that's about. I hope that doesn't stay. I'm just not even gonna bother reading that for the time being. Um, it looks like we've managed to... We've got everything that we need. I think we can just, what, keep exploring the cave at this point? Let me double check what's going on. Explore deeper in the cave. Okay. Jeez. What do you think is in there? There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yes. Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Something else over here, huh? It's definitely this direction. So it's the dead elk. Uh, I've got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. You think it got wise to a government program? Shut up. Huh. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. Strange. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah. It's numbered. Makes sense. I wonder what exactly that means. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. Why would they have files on us then? There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? Yeah, sure. They could be. All right, we are finally back to these caves. Jesus Christ, man, that took like 20 minutes of backtracking. Um, and there's some things that I cut out of the dialogue, but it's really nothing important. Um, just like some, I don't know, crap about what they're doing with the spying on us and all of that. And it really wasn't anything pivotal or plot bending. So I'm just going to leave that cut out um, when I edit down the running and the backtracking, which honestly, I think a little bit, of backtracking is okay in a game, um, especially when it's like a necessary plot element because of new things happening in old areas, but honestly I feel that it's a cheap game mechanic when it's overused, um, and it's a lazy way of increasing the total hours of gameplay that you can offer someone in a game, and hopefully this game won't have too much more backtracking. I mean, I must be getting pretty close to the end by this point, because I've been recording for like a solid two hours um, and I believe there was about an hour or so of game time uh, between all of the last episodes and stuff. So I think we're close to the end because I know the game is only like four and a half hours long in total or something when you uh, do all the extras. So I'm not even sure if I did all the extras. I guess all the extras would be like uh, reading all of the things, taking the time to read through everything. Which most people don't do out loud because they're not recording for an audience of like 10,000 people or whatever. But yeah, well, not 10,000, more like 2,000 depending on the um, game. Well, there's a corpse. Oh, shit. Who is that? Oh, God, it would probably smell so bad. That looks pretty decayed, too. Look at how heavily decayed that corpse is. I gotta take a picture. That's gonna be a... One of the custom thumbnails. You're Brian Goodwin. Oh, it's Brian. Oh, that's sad. Look at him. His head got crushed by rocks, too. Can't radio him in? Oh, yeah, because you can't radio anyone. That's, uh... That's definitely unsettling. Oh, you know, I should probably take a picture of this with the camera. That's, uh... 
That's really sad. Oh well. Time to get a move on. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Uh, maybe it was I don't Ned. Know, maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid fucking know-how in his head to get him killed. Son of a bitch. Yikes. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? I can't even run or do anything. No. I just have to sit here and listen. Not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Okay, then. Once again, thanks a lot for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. My name is Dr. Loinstein. Comment, rate, share, subscribe. Definitely check me out in other videos, other playlists, other games. You can hit up the description box below for links to my other social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook. You can join my open admission Steam clan called Loin Squad, and you can also join me on the Curse Network. I really hope you're having a great day. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace out.